My name is Mrs. Rose Viver. I'm the mother of the uh, incoming governor. What's your experience so far? My experience is, is, is not, nothing to write home about. People are buying votes openly. How can you vote and you show who you are voting for? And the APC person is capturing you to go and give you money. Is that the society we are, we are trying to, to change? What are the saying about that? They are not saying anything. Even the police are not saying it. They are watching and they are not doing anything. My name is Mrs. Rhodes Viver, the mother of Badebo. Um, all of for, since morning, aside from dealing with the issues of the old rights and things that have been done to try and suppress and intimidate voters, we've been getting widespread uh, reports on voter intimidation, voter suppression from places like Koshofer, at VGC. There, um, INEC officials are refusing to go into the estates. They are telling the estate people to come out to the express road, which is not where the actual legal um, legal position of the polling unit should be. We have a situation all over Ikate and several places, Ojo, Computer Village, I'm hearing as well. There's voter suppression going on there. But we are dealing with it with our situation room and our security um, team to ensure that we resist all these forms of intimidation. It's very unfortunate that legal state has been under the rule of people that only bring about thuggery and violence every four years when they have they had the opportunity to do well for people and actually create a voter group that would be happy to vote for them but they always choose violence and thuggery and by god's grace by the end of today the arraign and chokehold of violence and thuggery on legal states will be and will be done what's your assessment of the situation here and if Oshie has always been a peaceful area we are a community we know ourselves it's been a peaceful area we are a community we know ourselves we've never really had any cause for alarm or issues i'm very surprised about what i'm hearing about computer village but a team has been sent there to try and uh, monitor the situation and see what's going on um, so I cannot use this as a benchmark to test anything. What we are looking at is in Iba, as, as at now, polling its pulling materials have not yet been delivered. In parts of Alim Osho, polling materials have still not been delivered. Apparently, INEC officials are saying that um, they've not, they were not paid for the last um, election, so they are not going to come out to take the materials to the field, which you know is just a ploy to disenfranchise voters. A letter has been circulating this morning that you, you have been replaced by another candidate. That's, that, that is nonsense, you see. Um, I think that is coming from the Jandor camp. I won't say the PDP camp because the PDP has dissociated itself from all of that nonsense. Um, we've gone, we went to court. At the high court, we defeated him because we have his letter of withdrawal. That was the basis on which a supplementary election was done, a substitution election. And at the appeal court, his case was thrown out, and he, he never filed anything at the Supreme Court, so that case is dead and gone. Looking at these cases of intimidation that you mentioned, what is your message now to both uh, the stakeholders and the people themselves? We must persevere. We can only be bullied for so long. It's time to free Lagos. It's time for a Lagos where people govern, and based on their performance, they get put back in away all the Igbo voters, chase away all the non-indigenes. For what? This is our Lagos. This well, is, Lagos is a microcosm of Nigeria. Okay. We went so around the Kedja and we actually that. saw some persons distributing food um, for electorates. Uh, do you see it as a goodwill in this uh, period or you think it's inducement by uh, a certain Honestly, persons? with the level of suffering that we've experienced in Nigeria so long, you know, if people are distributing rice or whatever, that's not my issue. Because if you are going to sell your vote, it's your vote. You want to sell it. My most, the most important factor for me is the violence and intimidation. That people should be able to exercise their free will and vote for who they believe is important. Okay, so how confident are you, sir, that INEC will deliver a credible... My confidence is not in INEC. My confidence is in the people. That people will stand and ensure that their votes count. That's where my confidence is. And we are going to work to support them with everything that we have to ensure that they, they, they have, that, that they are that their voice is heard. One of the issues that were raised last election were the issue of beavers, not transmission Transmission, results. that's good, both of you. Um, well, we expect that results will be electronically transmitted. 
We've also got to import that in, part, in Osborne 2, the beavers that they brought there was already loaded. It did not start from zero zero, right? So there are all sorts of nonsense that's currently going on.